In April 2024, CNN journalists interviewed one of the FBI's most wanted fugitives in what was said to be his home in Haiti. Footage was filmed driving towards the home of the Haitian gang lord, as well as showing us both a few scenes outside of the home and inside of the home. The footage was broadcasted online for the world to see. So how can we identify the exact location of the home using the footage that was publicly available? The footage was published on YouTube on CNN's channel and is 8 minutes long. We're going to use this exact video and the run through of it to identify some of the scenes to lead us to the location of the home. Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Geolocate. I'm Ben and this is round 5, so settle in, get your maps ready and let's get started. traveled inside gang territory to speak with one influential figure who also happens to be on the FBI's most wanted list. Here's David's exclusive report. This war-torn intersection in Port-au-Prince is the blurred boundary signaling we are now in gang territory. At 1 minute 4 in the video, we notice something interesting. It's a mountain range. Mountain ranges are gifts for people who are looking for locations. We already know that this is in Haiti. So we can have a look for the mountain ranges, specifically one that looks like this hump, this dip, and this kind of valley. And then we can work our way back and find a wall that might be matching this, and a street that might be turning in this direction. Let's take a look. We're going to start in Haiti's capital, and we're going to work our way around looking at the mountain ranges. The first thing I spot is this dip in the mountain range there. It looks similar to me from this dip as well. If I get a little bit closer, we can even try to recreate that dip. We can see the mountain range in the back, this hump, and this bit. But let's get a little bit closer. I think we can see that a little bit more clearly from here. What we know is that this road that they're driving along is going straight towards that mountain range. So if I have that as a possible option, because I haven't confirmed it yet, then I might be looking for the road and see if we can find some of these areas that might match up. So I have this range. I also have this little hump coming out of the range and this dip in here. And there appears to be a road driving towards that, which is quite useful. That might not be the exact road, but at least it gives us an indication. When the car drives, we can also see that there might be a, a left turn or a gate or a significant shed as well. So there seems to be a turn into what might be a factory area with a, a shed or a large kind of white top tin metal roof building. We can also see there might be a mountain range going up a bit further there. Yeah, that makes out there. And that goes down the valley and that matches that wall going across and this street going towards the mountain range. So if I drive along my street going a little bit towards or at least off the mountain range, it seems like I've got a street right here and I'm looking for a large shed, which I seem to have right here. And I'm looking for a large wall as well. I can see a large wall here, but I just wanna make sure that that's a large wall. So what I can do is I can go back in time to see if there's maybe any shadows protruding out of that wall. Yeah, there looks like some here. We can also see that fence right here. There seems to be a fence there, and it looks like we're driving along this road here. There is also another tree at the end there. That kind of lines up with the, the hump that we should be seeing. And there's that turn there as well, right? So we've got the shed, we've got the wall, we've got the turn, uh, and we obviously have that mountain range as well. So that's one point that we know. Now we have a reference point for where the vehicles are driving. We can actually follow this road a little bit and see the other footage that might line up. So we keep driving along. When the vehicle goes forward a bit more, just past that driving on the mountain range, uh, driving past the mountain range, we see this little gap and a little kind of street with a little bit of a wall poking out here and they drive past this street where that bike goes down. So if we follow this down, uh, the car did turn at one point. So we see that it drives up here. I think that point might be about here but I'm not gonna confirm that. We drive left or turn left a little bit, maybe it seems, because the car in front who's leading them turns left. So they're gonna turn left at this wall and they're gonna go down this direction. 
if we have a look at our little laneway here, it turns right a bit with some power lines. There's a laneway that turns right here. It has a power line at the end at the turn. Uh, but it also has this significant little architectural floor, which is this little fence that kind of sticks out a little bit in the in the lane there. That actually matches up perfectly with this one. There's also a little bit of bushing there as well. And then there's this kind of bush on the right, these tree areas. So that indicates to me that we're going along the right road and we're still driving along this road. So the vehicle keeps driving along this road, uh, it seems, or at least this bit. There's not many turnoffs, and we get towards the entrance of this, this area. And this is the street quite close to the building. This is actually just one street off. We turn left and go into that building. And so from now on, I'm actually going to work my way backwards in the video. So we see a lot of the home in this video. And what I'm going to do is because I have a kind of rough area of where a lot of these buildings are, I'm going to start looking at the house to see if we can locate this house. It's obviously a grand mansion or, or a large building. It's not going to be small like some of these other kind of more tin roof ones that we see or, or small shacks. But there, seems to be, there seem to be some large, more resort-like buildings. So let's have a look at the roof. First of all, we can see it's orange. It's got two, two peaks in it. So we get to see the front when they walk up the stairs. There's a bit of rounding at the front. Uh, you can also see that here as well. Going to go forward a bit more. We can see what the car yard looks like next to the house. So it kind of rounds off where you've got that gate entrance there. And also when they were driving in, I noticed that we're basically driving into a dead end here. So this is a dead end street. House enters on the right. So a lot of this we can actually either keep in our head or we can start to draw up on a map like I've made here. Now this is a map I've made easily in Canva. Uh, I'm going to walk you through this one. So I've just dragged these trees here. I've dragged these independent blocks here to indicate roads and places like that. This is what I do often for geolocations when I find that they're a little bit difficult and how I want to identify this. So we have the street here. Uh, I'm going to take you back a little bit. This is the street that we're looking at with this kind of green empty block. It looks like something at the end there or juts out at the end there. We have a lot of trees. Um, when we turn the corner, I notice that we're seeing a type of construction here with a little green roof in the front. So I popped in construction, green roof again, more trees. We turn left around the block. And we can already see that this is a kind of straight line. There's a gate there uh, into the construction home. And then we have this kind of dead end area. So we have the entry into this area and there's a little gate there with some bushes and obviously a lot of trees at the end of it as well. What we see is the view here is this street or, or, or this street out here. And we see the kind of car yard here with the house on the left. Then they walk into the house. I've shown the steps here with this kind of rounding on the front of the house. We have a little run through of the side of the house. You can already see that there's a kind of flattening of the top bit here. And then uh, we have this kind of rounding or, or, or cornering of the top. And then we get a good view of the house from up here. So we can see that there's a double kind of peak. He now walks outside and he's got there's got some numbers on there as well so i wrote down number 45 actually it wasn't useful for me uh in this location and that's basically all the footage we have of his home so in kind of mocking up a design of everything that's visual that we see i decided okay let's look for this also don't forget shadows can be our friends so in having a look when they actually walk through here we can see that the shadows are quite consistent here right they're all pointing uh, a little bit away from the house. So I, I kind of indicated that it might be pointing in this direction. Now, if we use SunCalc, a shadow calculator, we can see that the shadows are primarily either southeast or south southwest. So that lets us orientate the map to uh, show towards a kind of southeast or a southwest. Now, we're looking for all orange roof houses. If we make a kind of simple search parameter, we're looking for all orange roof houses at the end of a road entering the end of a road with an entry here green block and construction next to it when i kind of scout around for google earth my two things that i'm looking for is orange 
mansion, if we can call it that, at the end of a road. So let's take a look on Google Earth and we're going to zip around a little bit and see if we can find them. So we've got quite a few orange mansions that we can see around there. Again, that kind of double roof that I'm looking for on the side there towards the end of the road. I'm not seeing that really in many of these, right? Looks like a double roof here, but again, it's not that kind of end of road route uh, that I'm looking for. I'm going to keep going up because they did say that they drove a little bit further and I'm going to keep looking around to see if we can find something like that. We have a place here, but again, it's not at the end of a road. There's a road going through, there's an entry into it from there and there, but it's not the kind of place I'm after. I could look down here, but again, similar story. The road seems to enter through here and then they've got that entry there. It's not at a dead end entry. This location, however, looks pretty good to me. We've got the same street that we drive down. So that's this one here. We've got the street that turns left. It seems to be a dead end. We've got this kind of building here and these trees. And then it turns right into this orange kind of one. Um, we can also see that there is a site under construction here. Uh, this is more recent imagery from May 2023. I like the image a bit better from uh, December 2022. Uh, but we can see the site under construction. There's another spare block here, it seems. So my, my visualization wasn't perfect, uh, but it's very helpful, as you can see. And then we've got a, a block down there uh, and we have this, this house. So now we can go back to the video and just double check some of these spots. So with this one, we can check when he's actually walking out um, of the area. We can see the, the building quite well there and we can have a look at the kind of side. We might be able to get a more un, a, a better understanding of the side of the building if we go back in time and find a different angle. Um, so we can see the back of the building a little bit better. We can see the kind of angles in the roof there. We can see the side of the building quite well here in July 2021 satellite imagery. Uh, so we can see that these kind of curves in the roof stick out much better. When they actually walked into the place um, at the very start, this might be useful to look at. So we'll fast forward here and have a look a little bit closer at the garden. We can see the garden comes out a bit and you can see it into these bricks here and goes around and similar to this one goes out a bit here to the driveway we're looking can't really see that side of the garden but we can definitely see this one coming out and then i want to get a shot from the front of this so here we are this shows it quite well with the shadows as well and when they walk into the house, we can at least see part of the front of this area here. Uh, it looks to be quite rounded with the trees there as well. So that appears to be a confirmation of the location. Um, we can also see this area. So that was the side where the car park is. And we can see the kind of shape of the roof here. And we can see that matches quite well with that big tree. So now that we have the location, we can easily pin that um, and show that this is where we were looking at. And that basically sums up the location. I hope you enjoyed this session on geolocation. It goes to show just how much information can be gleaned from footage posted online by people. And on that point, I'll see you in the next session.